Hey everybody, my trip to the guitar show is brought to you by the following brands. Audio Kitchen, Break the Machine, Honey Boy Amps, Lewitt Audio, Orange Amplifiers, Two Notes Audio Engineering, and Zoom. Without those people, these videos would not have been possible, so thank you so much. On with the show. We've got, a, we've got an audience for this video. Look, look at all these people. Look at all these people watching us. Oh my God. So are we, are we confirming that this recording or did we... Well, we can do it again, just in case. Because <laughs> I saw the, the frames of us, but we'll do it all again okay. and be a little bit funnier. Okay, yeah. And if you could like, just be better. Oh okay, yeah, sure. Sure. All right. It's terrible, isn't it? It's the pressure of all these stars in front of me. What are you doing? No, there's stuff on though, just we'll do it again. Alright. Hey, yeah. Hey, you remember that video we just made? Yeah, the one where the camera kind of died. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to do it again? Yeah, cool. Alright, cool. Nothing to do, but we so. won't tell them. No, we'll just Tell pretend that this is the first take. Um, I, I don't know when to start. Do you, uh, do you want to, like, direct well, you're, me? Well, you're, you're in Birmingham Guitar Show, mm -hmm. 2020. Mm -hmm. It's March 1st. Uh, there they are. This is SMP Guitars Hello. with Stuart. And um, let's pretend that I don't know anything about it and we're just, you know... Yes. Yeah, so, so, so what are your guitars about? Uh, they're made from wood. Yes. Uh, they have strings and pickups and, you know, they make superb noises of clarity and definition. But more importantly, I'm essentially a custom shop. So <laughs> people come to me and they, they, they pick uh, the guitars around there. Oh, hello, what's going on there? Nothing, I just had an itch. Oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to see if you'd panic to see the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> and they can come to me, and on my website I have a built form, and you can essentially select anything you want, but woods, you know, your neck carve, your fretboard radius, your pickups, your fret material, the works. And uh, then I will make it for you. Uh, I also do a, um, a uh, it's not budget, because it's still made by me by hand, but a £1,500 range, which I call the, I call the uh, road crew. Oh, it's a good name, bit of a lemmy there, you know, bit of a motorhead. We are the road crew. And it's meant to be just like a raw, stripped down touring instrument. And I do them in batches. And because I'm not, people are not all custom ordering them, they're like a set thing. Right. I can make them a lot quicker and therefore I can charge less money. So that's like that. This is the point when I ask you if you've got one. That's yeah, that one. That one there, yeah. So that's a handmade guitar by me for 1500 So this is the first one that's going to be launched very soon, once after I've caught up with a couple of guys' orders that are waiting on their guitars. Do it right. Uh, and this is like a one-piece swamp ash body, it's black uh, open bore, uh, bare knuckle boot camp pickups of your choice, uh, hip shop bridge, hip shop locking tuners, a quarter sword, roasted neck, and like the choices people will have will be, do they want straight dots or offset dots? And, and, and neck carve, you know, you want a full C, for sim C. What's your favourite neck sort of, uh, profile? Uh, that one there. May I? Of course. That's why it's there. Oh, uh oh. The klaxon. It's about to get very loud, so now the volume is about to go up in my voice to like this level. And we're over by the PV booth, so it's. it's yeah, they're really quiet. It's this guy you want to worry about. This one here? Yeah. The one drinking a beer? Yeah. Woo! That's lovely. I couldn't decide if it was white or pink in the it's, lighting. It's, 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 it is a shell pink vibe-esque type thing. It's just so very slightly pink, Much isn't it? Much really pink, yeah. It's just <laughs> as if you've made a mistake. Well, you could look at it like that. Or you could say, it's a Pantone out. It's its own thing. That's what you could say. But it's just a beautiful thing. Between you and me, did you make a mistake? I knew it. I knew it. I knew the answer. Um, it's awesome. Thanks, mate. So we got a tea style. Loving the chicken head knobs. Thanks very much. Uh, loving so, the slight differences to the more recognised brand. Yeah, to to, to the, the classic, which is arguably one of the greatest guitars of all time. And so you're there, like, well, well am I, I'm gonna, am I gonna do this? Am I, I'm gonna do this. Oh god, I'm gonna do this. So you decide you're gonna do it, and then you're like, well, you can't make it better, but you can do something. You can do your spin on it, right? So I try to be critical, which is hard, because you love it. You've got a, a, such a huge affiliation with it. And uh, if, if I was being critical, easy on the comments, I uh, figured that maybe this bottom horn might, might be slightly large, might be potentially. So I sort of slimmed that down, changed it a little bit. I nipped it in here. I rounded off the back. Obviously you've got a contour, because I don't care who you are, you don't need a big block. You know, like, you know, it's, they're meant to be played, not fought with. Uh, a nice knee carve, 
Just a little one. Oh, I like that. Yeah, a little knee calf that will bring it in on the belly calf. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, super, super nice. And also, I, I adapted the headstock shape because we don't like courts and I can't afford lawyers. Uh, and we, we moved this up a bit more, so you've got more space for your thumb. Nice, did a nice two-tone bit of ebony. He's not lying. There was more space for my thumb. There you go. Yeah, I like it because it must be, as a builder, quite a challenge to, to decide to build a T-Star guitar. Yeah, because everyone's doing it, and rightly so, they're beautiful. So the, the key was, it's not hard to decide to make a T-Star guitar. It's a good decision, but you don't want a T-Star guitar like everyone else's. You want to be able to try to put your spin on it, and then when actual people pay it, they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, this is actually different, which is generally the reaction we get. So that's cool. I like it. Let's talk about this one at the back. Yes. Which we definitely did not talk about in the other video that didn't work out for some reason. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah uh, sorry, I just Um that's pretty. Thanks mate, yeah. Uh, this is my icon model, obviously it's a semi-hollow, it's got a solo block. Uh, solo block? That's a new word I made up there. You can keep that as a solo block. It's got a, a, a solid block to J on either side. Uh, it's uh, it's like a double rainbow, it's a double quilt. Which is quite cool, isn't it? I like that, double quilt, boom. So you got mahogany core, quilt the quilt, mahogany neck, uh, rose with fingerboards, uh, again bare knuckle, these uh, black dogs, which are great five way blade that I do on most of my guitars. So you get a uh, humbucker, single coil, position three is single, single inner coils, single coil outer humbucker. So super, super versatile. You know, you can even get like kind of st kind of stratty quack in like that position three. It's really, 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 really versatile. So I'm really digging the pick guard on this. I love the way it follows the contours Well, and just with, goes off on with, with a pick guard, 50% of the design is done for you. Just follow the body shape. Right, really, let's be honest. Like, just, just follow the body shape. And then I just did an S because it's SMP. Like, I did, it wasn't really that thought out. Well, it was thought out, obviously, but I was like, oh, I'll do an S. And then I'll follow the body shape. And then I was like, well, actually, that works. So that's, that's how that came about. Keep it simple. Yes, it's simple. <laughs> exactly. Simple guitars. <laughs> oh, this is going bad again. <laughs> um, so then we've got this one, which is the same model, right? But just different. Yeah, same model. Like, and got... So two flavours of the same thing, basically. With pink guard, without pink guard. This is a 22 fret. That's a 24 fret. That one's floating. Uh, set neck and that one's bolt on so uh it's quite light isn't it yes 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 chambers resonance yeah generally Stuart, i know we're being a little bit silly yeah. and a little bit you know having a laugh but they're beautiful guitars mate they're beautiful i am i love that the geeky part of me just loves the way that goes into this black and yes. then back out again fade, yeah i want to do a fade at the back i kind of kind of i tried to kind of match the top when I, when I was building it and I stayed at the top, the swamp patch in the back, I was like, oh, that's a bit bright, I might tone that down. And then I was like, well, I'll do a burst in the back as well. And I was like, oh, that'd be nice. I fade it into the neck. So I did, and it works great. Love it. I mean, you've got some a volume, so it's a technically a, a good idea. Yes, which is always a good thing to have a volume. Learned that one in college. Always works. And every neck's got two, it's getting heavy now. Every neck's got two carbon fiber rods and a dual truss rod. So they're super stable. So if you're touring, yeah, you're laughing. Oh, thanks very much. You're laughing, like really. They're super, super stable. It's designed to be like, they're, 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 obviously, if you do it right, they can look really lovely, use the right woods. But they're designed to be played. My idea is, I, I like an analogy of latency. When you're like recording, a guitar should not give you latency. You should not be fighting with a heel. Or like they, they should allow you as a guitar musician. This I'll be serious now. Can you tell? Can you tell? <laughs> a guitar should allow. <laughs> don't do that. Uh, should allow you to everything that's up here should be able to come out. You shouldn't fight with an instrument, and that's essentially my goal. If I was going to come away with anything, that would be what I would tell you. Can I quote you on that? Yeah, for sure. Why not? It's this video is going to be called it. Telecasters are rubbish. <laughs> I did not say that. You didn't say it, but... No, I hear you, I hear you. I agree, I mean... I agree, I also disagree. Oh, voice mark. 
Yeah, the latency part. No, I, I sometimes like to fight with an instrument. All right. But, but the guitars that I really love <laughs> are, are the ones that people carry on their backs. Is that right? Famous, no? <laughs> Everybody's been commenting on how big this camera rig is, yet people keep walking through it. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> Anyway, yeah. uh, I can hang around and talk to you for ages. Sweet. What we're going to do now is press record and make the actual video. Um, go on in, mate. SMP Guitars, Hiya. he seems to know what he's talking about, but you'll never know unless you actually try one. So I'm at lots of how shows. can you make that happen? Lots of shows. I was at NAMM, I'm here. I'm at September in London Guitar Show. I'm at the Mannheim on the Guitar Summit. So you'll see me. And uh, where are you based? I'm based in the Surrey Hills. I'm in England's largest village. The locals love that fact. Friendly. Wait a minute, England's largest village? Yeah, apparently that's what the sign says when you drive in. I don't know if it's true. But the, the people... Apparently, that... my village was England's largest village what? at one point. What's that? Bream in the Forest of Dee. Oh, friendly in the Surrey Hills. Oh, we got a new video concept here. We need to know, people in the comments, is it him or is it me? Who's right? Who cares? SMP Guitars. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for your thank time. You for the hug. I'm, uh, I'm ready to go and uh, do some more stuff. Good stuff. Thank you for taking time to chat to me. It's been awesome. Let me just say, if I could take one, I originally, originally thought I'd take that one. Yeah, you know, just for my eye. But having seen the this one, yeah. now I'm into that. But now I'm really into this one. Yeah. What about that one? I'm going to say no, but only because I can't put another one in the mix. Oh, another one of the, of the, the famous shape. No, no, I mean, I can't even choose between three guitars, let alone four. Look at that neck. This one. See ya. See you, mate. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Once again, thank you so much to the brands that made this content possible. Without them, you simply wouldn't be watching this. So go and check them out. There are links in the video description down below. There are also plenty more videos in this Guitar Show 2020 playlist, and you can watch those by clicking the link on screen right now. I'll see you in the next video.